This is a visualization of accelerometer data uh, from the handlebars of a bicycle as it travels from uh, Greenpoint in New York City uh, down through Brooklyn uh, over the Williamsburg Bridge and then through Lower Manhattan uh, to the Interactive Telecommunications Program uh, at NYU uh, in the East Village. So in the center of the screen we have the three plots of X, Y, and Z. The green line is the X, um, the, the burgundy line is the Y, and then the salmon colored line is, is the Z. Um, all these data points have been coordinated with uh, GPS tracking taken at the same time, and uh, this series of white ellipses represents the path of each GPS data point. The red ellipse in the, uh, along the track coincides with the blue line at the center of the graph, which indicates uh, where you currently are in the sample set and also where you currently are spatially along the track. The diameter of the ellipse represents the size or the magnitude of the z-force because as, your, as the uh, accelerometer was oriented on the bike, uh, z was the vertical force, which represented uh, kind of the up and down of the handlebars as it rolled over um, several obstacles. I'm going to zoom into the plot a little bit so we can see some more of the data. There's something that I thought was really interesting here, and it only came to me uh, after I had uh, worked with this for a few minutes. Right about here, there's a pretty big spike. Um, and I realized what it was. The spike right about here uh, is, I believe, the curb at the end of the Williamsburg Bridge, right as you hit Delancey. There's kind of a, a rough spot there. And I go over it every day and you know, I'd seen this spike in the data but didn't really realize what it represented until I plotted the data spatially against the GPS track. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, this is just the first pass. Uh, I'd like to work with this illustration, work with this visualization a bit more, hopefully to be able to illustrate several more um, metrics of the data or at least try to come up with a, uh, a little bit more of, um, to make it more descriptive, I suppose. Uh, but this was a pretty neat first pass for me, and I'll keep working on other types of data collection um, over the next few weeks and see if I can't come up with something kind of nifty. Thanks.